So, picture this. It's Friday evening, you just got home from school, and so you got off the bus, your parents just got off of work, and you just want to have a nice meal with your family. And your brother, he's like, oh, I just want like a good salad. I don't like meat. But your mom, on the other hand, she's also like, oh, I want like a nice steak. And then your dad's all over here like, why can't we just get dessert? Now, you're thinking, you're brainstorming in your mind, and you can't think of anywhere in Fishers until you think of Cheesecake Factory. And your whole family gets on board. They hear this, and they're like, wow, this is such a good idea. So you all get in the car, you turn the radio up, and then you pull up Google Maps, and you realize the nearest Cheesecake Factory is 30 minutes away. Now, that is unacceptable in my book. Now, I love Cheesecake Factory, but 30 minute drive, that's an hour round trip. I'm not doing that. So if only we could have a Cheesecake Factory even closer, like maybe 10 minutes round trip, somewhere close, even close to the school. And I want you to help me make this a reality. So maybe you're thinking to yourself, why are you so passionate and caring about Cheesecake Factory coming to Fishers? Well, according to Cheesecake Factory's website, they have over 250 different dishes and 34 of these are cheesecake flavors. Now, have any of you guys been to Cheesecake Factory? Yeah, so, and have you guys had their cheesecake? Yes. You know how good it is. So that's 34 different flavors. Where else in Fishers can you get cheesecake that good? And, I mean, I could keep talking about this, but there's not even one at Fishers, so why would I bother? And that could all change with the yard coming to Fishers. Now, the yard is coming right here to Fishers in the fall. And there's going to be 18 total restaurants, but only three of these have been confirmed so far. So that means there's still 15 spots that could all be Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> <laughs> and also, at the yard, there's going to be a concert area, and there's going to be apartments. So this would be a perfect place for families to come, like, just, like, walk across the street and eat Cheesecake Factory. It's because it's their menu is so huge, you don't really have to have, like, if you have picky eaters in your family, you won't have to worry about that. And the yard's looking for original and unique restaurants, and I think the Cheesecake Factory would be perfect for that. Because it was started by like small families, and they're looking for unique places. And according to Medium, it was started by one small family that had, that had a good cheesecake recipe, and they expanded upon that until it became a, like a national chain. And so just imagine walking across the street from the yard, like maybe you just saw a concert, and now you're like, oh, now I'm pretty hungry, so where can we go? We can go to Cheesecake Factory and get an amazing cheesecake. And that's why I need you guys to help me out. The Cheesecake Factory is such an amazing restaurant. I need you all to help me bring it here. And that's why I need you guys to help me spread the word right now and tweet out to Cheesecake Factory, to at Cheesecake. Now, if any of you guys have your phones on you, Mrs. Mrs. Haybig, are they allowed to get their phones out? Yes. Open, if you have Twitter, open Twitter and use it right here at Cheesecake Factory and just tweet out to them. Say, Cheesecake Factory Fishers, hashtag the yard. I'll give you guys a bit of time to do that. It's at Cheesecake Factory, at Cheesecake, and it should pop up with Cheesecake Factory. Oh, just say, hashtag the yard and put Cheesecake Factory Fishers. Oh yeah, also like stuff like Instagram and if they have Facebook, DM feel free to also post it. DM them. My goal is to just drive up as much attention for Fishers and hopefully they'll, like someone, one of their employees will notice, why is there so much um, tweets from this one random town in Indiana called Fishers? And then they'll maybe they'll look into it more and they'll think, oh hey, there's a place called The Yard. It's got a lot of investments going for it. Maybe this would be a good place to open a new restaurant. Yep. Okay. Those are fried mac and cheese balls. They look so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. They're very good. I, I just need to look at that one. Tweet it. All right. Is everyone finishing up that? All right. Thanks, you guys, for helping me out with that. And with your guys' help, I think that Cheesecake Factory coming to the yard will be a piece of cake some cheesecake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>